All right, Matt, let's take a look at the 3D experience platform, specifically the collaborative business innovator role found within it and all the features and benefits that that role can bring to the community. So can we take a look at the CBI role, please? Yes, so um, the, main, the, the main point of the collaborative business innovator uh, role are these swim communities uh, it's just an area where design engineers can communicate back and forth uh, on whatever projects they have going on so you can see here we're redesigning a monitor stand uh, with one of our teams and i, mean, I, I kind of see it looks a lot like familiar social media platforms right we're on a web browser in the 3d experience platform we're on a particular page that you can scroll through you see posts with titles and comments and all sorts of things on there for everyone to communicate their ideas right it's kind of what we're looking at yeah that's exactly what we're looking at so for example here uh, David did some simulation uh, on this yoke for us and you know like like you said like most uh, social media platforms we can we can like comments or, or like posts that, that we feel are beneficial. And I can even add a comment. Right, and I can post that back and, and he'll get a notification, right? J just like we'd expect that uh, somebody has commented on, on a project he's working on. Okay. So we're kind of building a history, you know, we're, we're adding images, we're adding files right CAD files to this correct correct we can add CAD files to this you can see uh, Wayne's working on uh, redesigning um, kind of a a play-doh piece here so we can add CAD files to these posts as well okay yeah so I guess this is what I really want to know um, what makes this unique I mean social media and collaborative tools there's a lot of them on the market Obviously, this one's a little bit different in that there's some engineering centric tools that we can use. Can you touch on those? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, like you see here, viewing of, of CAD data is one one tool, right? Beneficial to a design team in general. But we also have an ideation funnel where we can take ideas and kind of, you know, hash them out here virtually and, and we can keep track of everything that we've done so uh, here we can start with right a, a new idea that we want to maybe increase the board spacing on, on a particular design um, and if we like something we can move it on through clear to uh, creating a project plan uh, on how we want to take this to market uh, so these these types of features are kind of geared to what a design team needs to do on a on a day-to-day -day basis on their projects. Yeah, so I mean, those are some of the compelling features for why people in a engineering-centric or design-centric uh, company or, or role might wanna switch to a collaborative platform like this. You know, you got the, the CAD data that you can view and spin and rotate, and I'm sure some other things as well, and then you have the idea funnel. Um, that's a pretty cool tool to to help move projects along in the, the process. Yes, and and along that being um, you know designed you know to, with engineers in mind, um, on, with our cloud storage solution, uh, the viewers are built into that as well, and we can also mark up these designs. So I can I can get an IGES file from a supplier if you will, right? And I can see, well, what is the overall size of this, right? Is this is this gonna f even fit in in uh, my mill, right? So I can go ahead and grab some measurements, throw those on a screen um, and see, right? Is this gonna fit within our design? And if I need somebody to work on something, right? I can just quickly mark these holes up Right, and add a question, right? So you just added annotations, dimensions, you marked it up, 
by just redlining, adding some text to it, all from the storage application. I mean, that's all stuff that tools like Dropbox and Google Drive can't do. Correct. Yep, exactly. And then this doesn't do me any good unless the entire design team can see, you know, what I'm doing here. This this is great for me, but I can actually just with one click of a button, I can get this back into my community where everybody's going to be able to see what we need to do. Okay. So you're capturing that that info and then sharing it with the entire community. Yes, sharing it with the entire community. And then once that's posted back, if there's a specific engineer that I need to work on that, uh, we can, you know, just like any other social media platform, we can tag those users as well. So, for example, if I need to tag a specific user. I can go ahead and uh, edit this and you know, tag somebody, right? I think everybody's familiar with tagging individuals with many of the social media. Yeah, I mean, this is all, these are all concepts that I think we're all really familiar with. It's how everyone expects to work uh, and um, or basically expects to live their lives and share their ideas and, and share their, their content, whether it's pictures or posts or notes um, but what makes this unique is basically what i see is it's for professional designers or engineers because it's offering tools and capabilities that other things on the market just can't do with reading cad data um, and moving ideas through a a, a funnel uh, pipe correct and then that um, i just file that i got right i need paul to work on it so I can just, Is that just read and write access right there for the files? There's read and write access for the files for him, and he can he can view it in in, in his community or in his his drive as well. Wow. Right, he'll have he'll have a folder of every file that's shared with him, and he can view them just like just like I did. And if he has concerns, he can mark it up and and post that back to the community. Okay. Man, that's a really, really great tool. Thanks for, for sharing that, Matt. Um, I have a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you. Um, you know, since we're showing this and, and sharing this piece of technology, um, why do you think users will benefit from having this role, this collaborative business innovator role on the 3D experience platform? In your own words, what are some of the things that uh, would really benefit someone from, from using it? Right. Well, you know, I've been managing kind of a, a design team that is in multiple locations for years now and using a tool that opens up the, the communication of the team has really built uh, kind of a more cohesive team, um, a more solid team. And it's 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 really helped in kind of streamlining what we need to do on a daily basis because it's no longer each individual working as you know kind of their own island but now everybody has kind of access to the same information and not only is it is it great for somebody to be able to communicate what tasks need done but it allows engineers a tool where they can ask for help ask for feedback from the rest of their design team Okay, so I'm hearing a lot of ease of communication and, and collaboration and, and just really making sure everyone is is connected overall, regardless of location and, and where they work or how they work. Um, Correct, yep, exactly. Let's take this the other way here and I want you to just talk about some alternatives here. So say for example, they're not using a tool like this and they're not on this platform. Um, what are the alternatives? Um, how are people working now? And what are some of the challenges there? Well, I think some of the challenges are, uh, you're right, a lot of this communication now is done uh, by email. Um, a lot of, you know, design teams have project books that might be in a fixed location that you have to have to go and look 
and, and search through. You can't you can't search through a project book. You have to look through each page to figure out what's happening. Um, and in email, uh, you know, I don't know anybody who is is a fan of the reply all email. I mean, you you take a flight and you land and you have 36 emails from one string and, and you have to sit there for 20 minutes and sort through which ones are valuable information that, that you need to, to worry about and which ones are, are people just agreeing with what was said. So, right. Um, right. So, and not, not to mention the, um, when people get added like new hires, they start with a clean, fresh inbox, right? No history whatsoever. So a tool like this, they can look back beyond their start date and they're up to speed really quickly, right? Oh, exactly. Yes. Yes. And, you know, if your flight's delayed and you do miss that meeting, right, uh, all, all the information can, can be stored here so that when, when you land and, and you miss the meeting, you can you can go back through and see what was discussed, what's happening. Um, same thing, new hires or you know, somebody who may have, you know, had a delayed flight and missed a meeting. Right. Or say, for example, you know, let's take that a step further. You're on the road. This works on any web enabled device right so that means phones tablets chromebooks correct exactly mm -hmm. yes i have i have the same information on my uh on my phone on my ipad and and here on it on my work, laptop theoretically it could work on a samsung smart fridge as yes. long as it's got the web browser right i mean that's correct. that's the only requirement really yep a web browser and and a, and a way to type in your your login information and you're good to go so um, you, Matt, have been using the 3D experience tools here at TriMec more than anybody. And um, what does it take to get to the point where, uh, from a training perspective, you know, to ramp up, to know how to use the collaborative business innovator role? Um, you know, what are some of the lessons that you've learned that could help someone who might just be beginning their journey here today? Well, the good news from from the collaborative business innovator uh, is there's really not much training you need. It, it's it's extremely intuitive. Um, most people are familiar with a lot of different social media platforms, and this operates kind of in the same fashion. So, not a lot of training needed to ramp up. Um, so, I mean, the one thing that I would say is, you know, when adapting to something that's new for a design team. Um, I think having an open mind uh, to integrate this technology into the design process uh, will will greatly speed innovation for any design team. So um, just just having an open mind to adapt the new technology is extremely beneficial for a design team. I mean, I think now is is the perfect time to be looking at a, a piece of technology that will help bring a department or company together and make it easier to collaborate. Um, I think that's, we're all seeing that's now more important now than it, than it ever was. And I feel like at this point in time, this is just how people expect to work. They expect to make it easy to collaborate, to share ideas and posts, at mention people, liking things, voting on things. It's just the way we're used to working nowadays. And it just makes sense to have a CAD focused tool that understands all that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I uh, appreciate you taking the time here, Matt, to, to show us the 3D Experience platform, um, specifically the collaborative business innovator role. Um, I think it's super beneficial and uh, I'm excited to, to share this with the, the community out there. Yeah, yeah, and I'm excited to see where this is gonna take design teams and and how this will, uh, you know, breed products that that we all like using on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, I think there's a lot of good things to come uh, from this. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Matt.